Yo, what up, YouTube? This is your boy Styles, and um, man, today we're gonna be playing at the park, and I got a funny, fucked up story for you guys today. Um, this is with randoms. I don't know these people, but we seem to play very well together. Um, at least they were passing the ball. You know, there wasn't being ball hog, and uh, it was a lot of ball movement going on. But um, that's that's how everybody should play in this park. I think you got a better chance of winning. Um, so man, let, let, let's get let's get straight to the story, man. Um, I remember my first year of of a uh, high school, man. Um, and I, I think you guys already know the story. I moved to Carney to go to a better school, or whatever. And I moved in with my best friend. So my best friend had a cousin. My best friend is from Brazil. His cousin didn't speak no English whatsoever. So his English was the worst English. Like he he would know words here and there. And so one day we were in the backyard fixing our bikes, and um. My, my 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 boy had a BB gun. He had one of those um, handguns, BB guns, and he painted it the tip so it could look black. And I think he cut it off because it comes up with a tip. I, I forgot exactly what he did, but the thing is, the gun looked it just as if it was a real ass gun. Like you could actually walk up to somebody and rob somebody with it. I mean, if they didn't have a gun to shoot at you, you you, you would be done. You know. I got I got a gun pulled on me twice in my life, and I gotta tell you, man, one of the one of them was the scariest shit ever. The other one, I really didn't give a fuck. It was just like, man, whatever. If you're gonna use it, use it. Just make sure you kill me. So you know, we're chilling, fixing the bike in the backyard. He's he's on the out, outside fucking around with the kids, pointing the guns at him, and I guess one of the parents must have seen it and called the cops on him. Called the cops, thinking that. It was a real gun, shoot. I would think it was a real gun too. I mean, the way the gun looked, it was, you know. But we would use the gun to shoot at birds like idiots, you know, shoot at dogs from the house. We would never let nobody see it because, like I said, the damn gun looked so real, it wasn't even funny. You know, so we're chilling in the backyard fixing the fixing the um, the bikes. And the cops come and they pulled out gun on us. They got a vest and it was like they was going out. They was going all out. When I tell you they look like this dude was going all out, man. They had vests. They had their little handguns on the side. They had shotties. I'm thinking they're freaking... Like some, somebody broke in or some shit. Or some shit's going on. I mean, what, I'm what? Like 14, 15 at that time? And, you know, you get a gun on me, yo. First thing they said was get on the floor. I turn around. I see them big ass guns headed towards me. I was like, oh, shit. I'm down. Please don't shoot me, yo. And I swear to God, I think I almost pissed myself that day. I think it was one of the scariest day ever. They went through the house searching for this gun. We didn't know what was going on. You know, they just come in the crib looking for looking for something. And oh my God, where's the gun? Where's the gun? I was like, what? The, what are you talking about? What gun? What gun? <laughs> and then they talk. They tell. They, they they slow it down and tell us, you know, what was going on. What was going on? Like, what? Why are they there? And then somebody had called about a gun. And they would tell them we have a BB gun, but it's a fake gun. So they asked to let us see it. The gun looked real. But by this point, they had already gone through the crib, to the house, search everything, search everything. And I mean, they, I'm pretty sure they were supposed to have a warrant, to search the house. But what? Like I said, it was we was 15 at the time. You know, we didn't have no. Our parents was working. Doing whatever the hell the parents do around that time. It was just three kids in the house. Chilling. Doing nothing. You know, acting stupid. <laughs> so, they went and searched the house. Turned the house upside down looking for this gun. And when they asked, it was like, yo, the gun is over there. Blah, 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 blah. But it's a fake gun. So, when I tell you this was one of the scariest day of my life, man. I ain't even lying to you. Because when this dude came with shotties and shit... I just looked at it like, oh my fucking god, I'm gonna die today. When I tell you, I lay, f I laid on the f on the ground as flat as the ground is. I just laid on the damn floor flat. I think I started crying. I don't remember. I probably did. <laughs> I think I started crying, man. Shoot, with big ass guns pointed at me, man. So, believe me, after that. I never pulled out a gun in public. I mean, I grew up and I, I did some stupid things that I regret and um, that I wish I wouldn't have done. But I never ever, when I tell you I never ever pulled out a gun in public like that, 
it, it wasn't even funny because I mean you hear stories you know about cops shooting people up just because they go in the in their pockets whatever man when I tell you I put my hands up I laid on that ground flat it was my hand up as high as I could put them you wouldn't even believe it man but anyways man um, this is your boy Styles you know thanks for checking out my video this is almost coming to an end I hope you guys enjoyed the story it's been a while since I've done one of these look at this bum shooting a uh, half court shot um, send your friends everybody around around your way around me man send them this way you know so I can entertain and do what I do this is your boy Styles I'm out peace